a river state lawmaker makes you turn after defecting to APC, returns to PDP. <laughs> you know, it's, it's no longer news. Um, you know that 25, 27 uh, members of the State House of Assembly in River State defected uh, from PDP to APC following failure in the impeachment of uh, the governor of Fubara. So there have been rumors of them, uh, you know, trying to return back to PDP because of the possibility of losing their seat. Because it's also, it's clear now, even by the law, that having defected, they cannot defect with their seats, their seats are now vacant, and um, INEC is being persuaded to conduct an election for those seats to be occupied. Okay? So, uh, in line with that, one of the lawmakers among the 27 has uh, returned back to PDP, knowing fully well that the fight is becoming very dirty with full of uncertainties. Okay, but let's dive into the details to see what happened to this lawmaker. In Portaco River State, Linda Somari St Stewart, one of the 27 River State House of Assembly members who defected to the All Progressive Congress, has made a U turn. <laughs> Linda Somari has made a U turn. According to Sarah reporters, on Wednesday, December 13th, uh, Stewart, the lawmaker representing Okrika in the Rivers State Assembly, made a U-turn as the seats of the defectors were about to be declared uh, vacant. So her defection means Stewart has, uh, Stewart has uh, moved from Minister of uh, Federal Capital Territory of City, Nyesongwike Camp, to Governor Siminala Fubara's camp. It also means that she returned to the P PDP New Telegraph uh, noted. Can you imagine? So I know it was reported earlier that 27 members of the State of Assembly defected from PDP to APC following the feud or the clash between Governor Fubara and his uh, godfather, Nyeso Nguike. Okay. So and the uh, lawyer has also declared that those seats are also declared vacant following that uh, defection but uh, <laughs> it looks like the fight is not getting clear for them and now they are trying to return back to the original positions so the thing here is that that lady from Okrika, uh, linda somara or whatever they call her has seen that the front is not clear has also seen that um, the fight is going to be messier and uh, right now, nobody can actually contest with the power of the governor. He is all and all at this moment. So even the lawmakers themselves that are defecting also knows that when they lose their seat, PDP will quickly grab all those 27 seats and then they will remain the majority and the pitching for Bara will still not be possible. Because the target APC has is that when those people defect, defect with their seat, then that will automatically give them a higher number of APC in the House of Assembly. Therefore, paving way for impeachment of Fubara. But it seems like it's not going as they have planned it. It's full of uncertainties. And uh, you can imagine what happens if those people lose their seat. It means that they are also no longer members of the House of Assembly and they cannot remain there. They will go back home as ordinary APC members. And that is not what they bargained for. Obviously, Mike has been giving them encouragement, you know, telling them they can make it you know, with APC because he's closer to Tinubu at Abuja and so he can cut the shot using Tinubu's influence. But the way it is going and with the backing Fubara has received from the people of River State is getting more uncertain for those lawmakers to still retain their seat as uh, APC members. So it's getting tougher and then um, in line with that, this woman has smartly returned back to PDP. <laughs> Again, you know, even initially, people were advising those lawmakers to stop making the mistake and get back to PDP. But again, the PDP members have agreed that even when they come back, they are likely not going to work with them because they are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. If they were in PDP and they allowed uh, Mwike to buy them and then they defected to APC, uh, now the APC is not getting clear, they want to come back to PDP, it means that they are not reliable, they cannot be trusted, and working with them in confidence is going to be a problem. Okay, That simple uh, uh, behavior of moving from pillar to post because of uh, influence is a red flag 
for so many people in PDP. And so they have advised Fubara and the rest PDP members in the state to beware of those people because they are already saboteurs. They are saboteurs, already confirmed saboteurs. It's just that it's not favoring them now, so they are looking for a way to, you know, to um, undo what they have done, okay, to correct the wrongs. But it's going to be very tough for them. They have shown their first character, and that first character is their real character and cannot be trusted anymore. That is it. Um, people are already reacting. Few people have made comments here. Somebody said, this fake return, PDP shouldn't accept them. Their seats should be declared vacant immediately. They are poison to PDP now. Exactly, just like I was saying. They shouldn't be trusted. They shouldn't be allowed to, you know, to come back to PDP comfortably. Even their seats should not be given to them again. They should be removed from those seats and let other people take over. They are poison in PDP as we speak. Okay? They are not to be trusted. Their seats should be declared vacant effectively and let them, you know, be 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 put where they belong. So that person say, shame of the century. They are law breakers, not lawmakers. <laughs> That's why Nigeria is stagnant. Hooligans in power. People that lack integrity just out to loot state funds from nobody to fix somebody and fake certificates. Exactly. <laughs> so what is happening is that these people are lawbreakers, they are not lawmakers because they are not to be trusted. It means that they are there for their stomach infrastructure. Of what interest is that defection to the people of River State? Of what interest is that defection to themselves? What is it is that is in stock for them from APC? If you check very well, Wenke and APC would have promised them something juicy and, and something very personal to them and not to the people of River State. So it means that these people are not to be trusted. They are fake people. They are, they, are, they are after their stomach infrastructure. They are not after the interests of the people of the state. So they should never, never be trusted. Uh, another person here is saying, acting out the emperor's script. Now it's more, you know, Mike has fleshed them, and so they are acting out in the emperor's script. Probably emperor, even emperor himself, the Mike emperor, Mike has seen that their defection by law, they are going to lose their seat, and the purpose of the defection is going to be defeated. Mike is not giving them, probably giving them encouragement to go back to PDP, but again, it's not going to work for them. It's going to be a very, very difficult one. I know that what they are looking at is, you know, by 2027 to see what they can get and not really immediately anyway because they, they, they have made their plans. Whether Fubara like it or not, they are not going to allow him get that seat uh, for his second term. What will happen to Ambody in Lagos State under Tinubu is exactly what is going to happen to him. He should know that and start planning for that. Okay? So you're back for total killing dry if allowed to return. Always beware of enemy within. Gladiators set on stage. Fingers crossed. That is it. Those guys are gladiators set on stage. They are enemies within the PDP and should not be allowed to come back again. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.